Hi, and welcome to Lumosity Training Session 104. <laughs> yes, we've recorded that many. Today, we're doing language. Why? Because I don't think I'm going to be as fast as I have been because it's a little later in the day and my reflex is already contextual comprehension. Let's hope I can comprehend all this stuff. Need some more water. How to play, we're gonna do that. Let's turn my volume up while we're... Words to fix, one. Noble prizes are prestigious awards granted annually, yearly, in annoyance. Okay, there we go. Recognition. Where's the fix? One. The weekly prizes in chemistry, literature, peace, medicine were first awarded in 1901, shortly after the death of Swedish inventor Alfred Nobel. They're not weekly, though. Annual. Where's the fix? Two. Mixture of gold and silver and made. Mixture. Second one. Okay. Hmm, banned books sounds kind of interesting. Play fair. Fahrenheit 451. That was the one where they burned all the books and they had to commit them to memory. Fun. Fahrenheit 4 is a science fiction novel written by uh, Ray Berry, internationally acclaimed as a landmark work on dystopian fiction. Bradbury's contemptible novel. There's numerous awards, accolades. I'm going to say this one because contemptible, I think, is um, something you don't like. <laughs> Celebrated, unpopular, pearls, ignorable, celebrated. We got words to fix this one. The noble, the novel depicts a futuristic authority in a scientist where books are banned. Firemen patrol neighborhoods burning many books they find. Since books are categorically tasty, uh, citizens instead watch copious amounts of television all day long. Okay. Novel the future authorities where all books are banned. That one's fine. Futuristic authoritarian. Firemen patrol the neighborhoods burning any books they find. That's good. Since the books are categorically tasty. Citizens instead. Categorically ta right, tasty. Oh, tasty. Watch copious amounts of television all day long. Banned. That's what it is. Oh, man, I was trying to figure. Oh. Prohibited. I thought banned was a term used in the recently. Okay, prohibited. Okay. All right. Let's, words to fix. One. First publishers of the book held as a penetrating treaty against conformity, against conformity, censorship. 
and book burning. Bradbury once stated his concerns about political repression of the McCarthy area it reimbursed him stimulated him that simulated it's not stimulate inspired is the word they got me once all right words to fix ironically this cautionary tale about the dangers of banning books has at times been banned and centered yes that's true Complaints have been lodged against the book for a multitude of reasons, such as the inclusion of indecent language, offensive content, and barrels of smoking and barrels. I'm going to think this one. Copious uh, insurances, descriptions, constitutions, contradictions. I'm going to say descriptions of smoking and drinking. In 1987, a Florida school board made plans to congratulate Fern from due to vulgar congratulate remove Where's the fix? One. In 19 California, we're given expurgated copies of Farron with certain words deemed offensive or cute blacked out. After receiving numerous complaints, school officials abandoned the use of censored books. I don't even know what this word means. Expurgated. Oh, shoot. Blacked out after receiving numerous complaints, school officials abandoned the use of censored. Okay, in 1992, we're given expurgated copies uh, with certain words deemed offensive or indecent, respectable, decent, obscene. I needed to do better. I don't even think I got into scoring today, but, you know, celebrated novel. Okay. Calm down. Where's the ones that I did wrong? Okay. Exit review. I get to have another one. How did we do? Not as good as I'd like, though. Hey, I got in the top five, though. I got to do better tomorrow or whenever I do this again. Lots of water to keep this brain well lubricated. And I think I went too fast is what it is because I'm a really slow reader as you're finding out. All right, here we go. Word bubbles. Let's hope my vocabulary goes well today. How to play. Press enter. I didn't hear nothing. Okay.
170 for longer words. Ooh. Complete another word. Okay, let's hope we can do well today. water.
I might have done wood today. I don't know. We'll find out at the end of this. <laughs> oh, man, this is a tough game for me. Well, I'm getting closer, I think. I don't know. I got a lot of work to do on this. I'm getting the hang of it, though. You got to get that full circle to even get, get the points, I think. Uh, continuum. How to play. Oh, that's what this one is. Okay. No, that's not right. Okay. Harmonious, erectus, okay. Forced, restrained, allowed, encouraged, allowed, encouraged, allowed, restrained, forced. Ah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Susceptible, immune, resistant. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. There. There. Damn it. No. It's got to be like that. Come on. All right. Per racy, tactful, per to go, vulgar. Tactful, racy. Oh, puritanical. Okay, there we go. Tactful, racy, vulgar. Boom. <laughs> And apathetic, interested, entranced. Disorderly, neat, regimented. No, that's right. Imperceptible, power, right, let me see. Inconspicuous, imperceptible. All right, striking, palatable. There we go. Adoration, I'd, uh, all right, so you can idle or to abuse. Admiration. Derision. Derision, abuse. Abuse, derision, okay. Idolatry, adoration, admiration, and uh, adoration, admiration, abuse, derision. <clears throat> ah. Okay, contemptuous, mocking, cruel, abusive, respect, deep love, worship. I think these two need to be switched. Ah, so close. Okay, comparable, dissimilar, duplicate. Okay. Satisfaction, delight, euphoria. All right, delight, euphoria, misery. How about we go up here? Satisfaction, delight, euphoria. And we go trivial, significant, salient. Ah. I really most messed up today. <laughs> uh. ah. That's the editor's choice. Wow, this thing's like it's the same as the other one. 
Let's see how we do this one. I need the warm good. All right. Delicious. It was tasty. Oh, yeah, and then they got two of them, so I got two to joyful. It is delighted and pleased. Gleeful, joyous. Okay. Terrified, scared, panicky. Delighted, glad, pleased. Educated, informed, learned. Okay, faster you do this, quickly to get the higher levels. Okay, let's go. Natural is real. And, uh, oh, shoot. Can't be that one, can't be that one, can't be that one. Relaxed. Okay, rugged is hard and difficult. The set is plagued and assault, assailed. And ambulant, I don't even know what that means. Ambulant is sparkling? Lackluster. Sparkling. And brisk. Hungry is craving voracious. Craving voracious. Debilitated is something bad, which means drained and weakened. And treme treme tremulous is something scared and uh, unperturbed, amicable, timorous, uh, that one, whatever that one means. Spurred is prodded and stimulated. Desirable is uh, civil and agreeable. Agreeable and, oh, not civil. Courteous. Oh, shit. Enviable. Sorry about that. And disturbing is uh, resigned and un. Oh, damn it. Unsettled and interrupted. Oh, man. I was fast, but. Mm. Wow. Another high score, which doesn't count for anything because I don't have five in there. <laughs> Word snatchers. I. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this game. I got to type in the word and spelling counts. Uh, play. As you can see, I'm not a great speller. Mad. <laughs> Rabbit. Ugh. A rock. Told a lie. Oh, fibber. Oh, fibber. Uh. Okay. Delete letter. How do you delete a letter? Delete a letter. Welcome. Jocular. Polish. Fat. Uh, 
Another name for a person who uses Sure, Phil Grown. At Russell Torn. <sighs> Rabid and Fibbed. Part of that was. I didn't know to go backwards on the delete. <laughs> oh, what a day. At least I got in the top five. Yay. <laughs> oh, whoa. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. 1498. I think I came in at 1498. And thank you for staying with me and cheering me on for this Lumosity training day. Have a very luminous day. I love you all and bye-bye.